Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of the Miguel Almiron uh, Become a Legend. I did also see that the first episode of the Joseph Martinez episode is getting a decent amount of views, a decent amount of uh, reception there, so I will also be bringing that back. That should be going up either the day before this or the day after, so definitely if you guys haven't checked it out, go check out Joseph Martinez Become a Legend. We're not playing with Atlanta United. We're actually playing in Argentina if you want to know what team we are playing on and who we were playing with go back and check that episode out and um, keep up with the series there but as for now we're going to be playing with miguel almiron as you can see here we are in the starting lineup against crystal palace uh andy carroll is starting up top and dubrovka is starting at goalkeeper which i do not think he was playing in the first two games that we played other than that the rest of the squad looks about the same and of course Wilfred Zaha and Christian Benteke on the other team amongst others but let's go ahead and hop into the game and see if we can pick up a very vital three points against a decent decent Crystal Palace squad. As we do load up I did want to say that FIFA 20 um, comes out on Thursday. I should hopefully have a video up Thursday night and a stream maybe. Um, it is only EA access but I do have 10 hours on uh, PC and then 10 hours on PlayStation as well. Currently, I only have it downloaded on PC, but I think I'm also going to download it on PS4. I may as well go ahead and get it downloaded. Um, we're going to end up playing the uh, career modes and things like that on PC, and then Pro Clubs and Ultimate Team we're going to be playing on um, PS4 quite a bit. So, if you guys are excited to see that, definitely leave a like. Tell me how fast you guys want to see pro clubs. Um, obviously, I have to get you know everybody on the same page. I don't think it's really going to happen until the actual release date of um, of FIFA. It's not going to be day one of EA Access that pro clubs is going to be out. But like I said, player or player career mode, manager career mode, stuff like that will be out. Um, quite quickly and then also Volta and stuff like that so we may not see pro clubs for a couple weeks but once we do we'll be on a pretty consistent schedule hopefully of streaming pro clubs um, amongst other games and then let me know if you guys actually want to see ultimate team this year I may give it a shot do some sort of road to glory uh, maybe start out with like an MLS squad or something like that and uh, kind of work our way from there so if that's something you guys are interested in definitely let me know but other than that Hopefully we can grab some points here. I think I'm about to change back to the vertical camera as well because although I do like how the camera turns like this, I still can't see where I'm passing the ball like whatsoever. <clears throat> oh, that pass was really bad. Got it though. Almiron. There he goes, motoring forward. I don't know why, but I really thought I had a right wing right there. That was my bad. Milivojevic. Mila Bojevic. Joel Ward goes looking. Ayu gets How did I get that? Newcastle won a tight game last time out and look to build on that. And here's Saha. And he's there to clear it. And here's Saha. Back in once more. That's been leave it clear. Can he deliver? And it's Van Arnholt. Patrick Van Arnholt, not easily shrugged off the ball. Ki Sung Young drives it forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. Almiron tries running with the ball at his feet. Piate, Saha, Piate, overhit and out of play. Almiron, forward it goes, and he just whacks it away. And no. That is pretty much the end of that. Piate. Bro, St. Maximin is so bad at passing. Tom 
Jenkins. And it's Saha. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Saha plays it in. That is the end of the first half. Um, it's nil-nil, but it shouldn't be. Crystal Palace has had the majority of the ball. I mean, I think we've literally pushed forward like twice. Um, and both of them, my through balls just aren't good enough right now. Um, I need to start focusing on just doing the short passes, getting what I can. Andy Carroll's obviously not the paciest lad in the world. So it is. it definitely has been a lot, a big struggle trying to get anything going with Newcastle right now. We're sitting so far back that there's really nobody even pushed forward. It's literally me and Andy Carroll are the only two that are even trying to push forward. So hopefully we can get something going in the second half or this game's basically just a scrap already. No guts, no glory. Hoist it forward. Come on. Like, see, like, St. Maximin is so far back that you wouldn't even know he's playing. Granted, we are playing left mid, right mid, but, like, come on, man. Looking for a decent ball in. Zaha. Zaha. He's had a go. Decent shot. He's pulled off a fine save. Milivojevic simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Oh, dude. Challenge stood up well against his man. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defense like that. Go, oh, Andy. Oh, my God, dude. I get pushed off of the ball so easily. He's got options out wide. Townsend. Ah, man. This game is driving me crazy. Am I going to get a yellow card for that? I don't think so. But I did get taken out in the 61st minute of the game. Which is surprising because I'm literally the only one running at the defense. But because of that, my stats are probably bad passing-wise. Uh, I think I only completed like one or two passes this whole game. Granted, I only took like three or four passes, maybe five. But um, there's just nothing coming on this side of the field at all. And St. Maximin is so far back. There's just a lot of things that just aren't working in the squad right now. And it's causing so many problems. I mean, Wilfred Zaha has dribbled the ball 116 meters this game. I'd have been lucky to get 16 meters with the ball. We'll most likely be moving from Newcastle, so if we can't figure out what's going on with the um, with the play style that's currently being pushed in Newcastle, um, because it's not working and something's got to change. I did want to try to hold out at Newcastle as long as possible, but it is going to be very, very difficult to do so if we're playing like this. Also, the net, I saw somebody say it in one of the comments of the last videos, but the net stuff in this game is so bad. The net physics, it literally has a complete spasm every time the ball hits it. Andy Carroll's got to come out at striker. He's doing so poorly. This game's probably going to end in a nil-nil unless I get a goal right here. But this is really what Crystal Palace has been doing all game. They just have so much opportunity to just pass the ball around because we're just sitting so far back. 89th minute. Looks like this is going to be the end of the game. Wilfred Zaha coming out. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to... I mean, really, just not that many passes this game either. That's going to be the end of it. A nil-nil, which I guess is not bad considering we... I think we had like 25% possession. So, honestly, we'll take it. Um, it is a bit frustrating. But we will manage. I mean, the first highlight was in the 77th minute. 28% possession. We had two fouls. Um, just not good enough from us. The Crystal Palace had 109 passes. We had 46. So... Just a bad game overall, but let's go ahead and hop into the next one and see what opponent we're coming up against for the last game of the episode. So as we do start off this game, I'm actually starting on the bench. I think, I mean, last game I was exhausted. I literally was running full field the entire time. Um, and the rating hasn't been too great, so maybe coach just wanted to go with something else. I'm not too sure who that is playing left mid right now. 
Um, Dumeya, I think, is playing left back. I don't think he's playing left mid. Atsu um, is playing left mid. So we'll see how he does in our position. Again, I still do want to play at center attacking mid as well in this squad. Um, but obviously with John Joe Shelby and Key, that makes it really hard to do so. It also looks like Joe Ellington is in the squad and starting instead of Andy Carroll this time as well. So we'll see if the boys can get a goal and see. Hopefully we can come in second half and uh, try to put in a good performance here against Liverpool. <clears throat> so that is the end of the first half again it's nil nil we'll take it liverpool have definitely had their chances we've had zero chances um 32 percent possession so somehow we have more possession in this game than we did against crystal palace but only 24 passes so really it's like a matter of like we hold the ball and the second we can we pass it to joe ellington and inevitably end up losing the ball which has nothing to do with joe ellington at this point um, it's just the way that the team's being played out. So hopefully here, second half, we are on the field. So hopefully we can put something good together and um, get our boys Joe Ellington some better attempts at goal um, instead of just getting the ball passed to him every single time. They need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Oh, good take and a good oh way to go. A little far wide, but not too bad. We'll take that. It was really scuffed pass, but same with that one. John Joe Shelby. Kisun Young. Almiron. Get that down. Nice. Cross in. Joe Ellington. Nope. Allison to the ball. Key. Oi. I had like a little bit more effort out of key right there. We're going to try to mark Mo Salah and see what we can do here. Nice, John Joe. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. That crossfield ball is just not going to work. That's a goal. Ay, 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 ay. He always knew it was going to happen. Mane gets a beautiful opportunity straight down the middle of the field. I could tell just running behind him that literally no defender was pressing him right here. And he just had a really good chance. I asked for the ball right there, I won't lie. But I didn't think, one, the guy who passed me the ball was going to pass me the ball. And two, that it was going to end up where it did. So Mane, again, just gets a really good opportunity. Nobody's able to mark him. Um, if he would have stepped forward, Firmino was there in the box, so there was really no good way around it. We're one 0 down against Liverpool. And Andy Carroll is in the game. A one -nil lead established. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Jordan Henderson. It's Vinaldum. Your impression so far, Jim? Newcastle are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Let me get that cross. Almiron started the last match. Carroll looks to get on the end of this. Yeah, I mean. Hmm. That was a really bad tackle. I'm getting a yellow for that. I was trying to time it. I knew the second I hit it, it was too late. But we'll take the yellow. I just want to put a little bit of pace into this squad, but I just nobody else wants to run. It's just so frustrating. Hopefully they don't score a free kick right here. Not sure why they did that, but more power to them. I guess it was a little bit far out. Still would have expected a shot from Liverpool, but it is what it is. Andy Carroll. He's oh, the ball was so bad from Andy Carroll. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. I thought we had a beautiful little one-two opportunity there. And here's Mane. 
Just get it out. Nice. 80th minute. Still have an opportunity. Key's coming out. Matt Ritchie's coming in. I hope that means I'm going to midfield. Because Matt Ritchie is a winger. But we'll see. Let's go. Andy Carroll, please get on the ball. Yeah. I have nobody here. Nobody's with me. Just... Mm. Not enough opportunity. I think I am playing midfield. And here's money. And it's Salah. Got a shot <sighs> Mo Salah with the shot. Not a good one, though. In the end. Oh, no. I am playing left. Lejeune. Joe Shelby spreads it towards the left. Shakiri falls too strong there. Almiron. Almiron. Such a bad shot. Such a bad shot. I just wanted a shot. Just a single shot in this game. showing that there will be three minutes of added time. And here's Mohamed Salah. That's the end of the game. 1-0. We had one opportunity on goal. Um, and I probably should have put a little bit of a touch on it before I took the shot because I was leaning a little bit too far back, I think, by the time I took it. And we lose to Liverpool 1-0. Again, not too bad against a Liverpool squad. I mean, inevitably, we are a mid-table team. So we'll take it. Again, one shot literally was my only shot. One foul, which was my foul as well. So we'll take it as it is. Uh, we played a 6.0 rating again just only one half to play not too much we could have done there but that is going to be the end of this ep episode if you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe again there's also going to be the joseph martinez pez series going on and then also we're going to be having fifa starting on thursday as well so if you guys are excited make sure you smash that like rating let me know how excited you are that all this soccer content is back and let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section down below but until the next one i'll see you guys later Peace.